G'day guys, it's Trav here from Neighbourhood. Are you wanting to have greater flexibility in analysing objects and activities inside your HubSpot account? Perhaps you wanna analyse conversion rates between stages. Well, this is where creating a custom funnel report comes in handy, offering in-depth visibility on areas that you can improve on. So let's jump in. So just as a heads up, you'll need any professional or enterprise hub to use this feature. And if you're keen on more practical support inside HubSpot, Neighbourhood offers a comprehensive, easy to follow course that you're making the most out of your HubSpot investment. Stay tuned for the info at the end of this video. And if you wanna take your learning offline though, we'll include a downloadable PDF in the description below. All right, well, let's get stuck into creating a custom funnel report. In this instance, we're gonna do it for two parts of a business, sales and marketing. In the marketing space, you're probably wanting to understand the life cycle stages from lead, subscriber, lead, marketing qualified lead, sales qualified lead, customer and onwards. But maybe the sales team just wants to understand how the deals are progressing through the deal stages. So we're gonna set up two really, really quick ones here. Um, we'll step you through them uh, in a very, very quick sense. But if there's any questions that you have got along this whole process, make sure you hit us up in the comments below. We would like to answer any of the questions you've got. Um, also, if you're having a bit of troubleshooting as well. So let's get stuck in. So what we wanna do in this instance uh, is go up to reports and we wanna to go to uh, the reports uh, area here. In the reports area, we wanna go up to create report uh, and then to the left-hand side before it loads, we wanna go funnels, okay? So this will bring us up the funnels area. So we can do it in three objects. We can do contacts, deals, and events. Now, in the instance that I'm talking about for the marketing side of things, we wanna measure the subscriber, lead, marketing, qualified lead, sales qualified lead, uh, opportunity, and also customer as well. So it's pretty simplistic to set up, um, and then you can use that widget in the reporting module wherever you need be. So we'll go up to contacts, uh, and we're gonna click on next. On the left-hand side, you'll be able to see the sort of chart type. In this instance, I wanna do it like a funnel down like that, but you can sort of put it across or, or do the grid as well. So what we wanna do here is we want to uh, show contacts that have gone through all of the stages or any of the stages. So uh, we're gonna go all in this instance and we're gonna add the stage. For us in this instance, it's going to be subscriber and I wanna to go to lead and I wanna to go to marketing qualified lead, sales qualified lead, opportunity and customer. There we go. So our uh, demo account here uh, is obviously hasn't got a lot of data in it, but what we can see here um, at the moment is that we've got two subscribers and then we've got all of the numbers of the current people in that pipeline as we see, see fit. The next step conversion is measuring from the last step to the next step. So if we're looking at the lead, this will show us the percentile that have actually, sorry, the top part here, the percentile that we've got here that have stepped from a subscriber to a lead. Now, We've got none that steps through there, so it's 0%. But this next stage here will give you an indication of how it has worked overall. For example, uh, if we have a look at sales qualified lead, this 0% here, it will go through and show us the percentile from the, that's gone from the very, very top all the way down to that stage. So it basically is adding them all up to that percentile as well. Now, like I mentioned on the left-hand side, we can change how that visually looks like as well. And we can do a grid if need be, or we can go through. The funnel is definitely a, a very visual uh, one that we can do there. So in this instance, naming conventions, I wanna go marketing and then uh, funnel report and go through and save. So in this instance, we can go there um, and actually add this to an existing dashboard that we've got. If we've got a marketing dashboard, I can click on that and click on save and add. Now you can edit that however you need be. If you've customized your lifecycle journey properties, you can add them in there as well. But by and large, if we go to that uh, report on that, mark, on that dashboard, it's there and it's collecting data in real time. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna exit out of that. Now, if we wanna do it for a deal specific, then we go through and we follow that same process. We go to funnels. Now, instead of clicking on contacts, we wanna to go to for deals. We wanna click on next. And then what we wanna do is we wanna select the pipeline that we're working on. So let's just say NBH pipeline. And then we've got all created deals. It's probably good to sort of see the top number. Then we wanna go through appointment scheduled, no contact, qualified to buy, presentation. Now. You can customize these in the sales. We've got a video that steps through setting up the sales pipeline quite nicely. Um, if you need that, just reach out to us in the description or in the comments below, we can help out. But in this instance, we can go through and add them all. Now you can add them all for all the pipelines, one of the pipelines or specific stages of the pipeline. 
Think about it if you've got a salesperson that's like an SDR, that's only working at the very front end, you can then report on when that deal sta stages through and then all together as well. Here we wanna go uh, funnel, uh, sales data, sales report. Now you can also, again, like the other one we've had, change it how it visually looks like. And um, we can go through on a table. Again, the funnel is probably the best one there. I wanna save that. Now we've got an existing dashboard for the sales as well. So we'll go through and add that to the sales dashboard. And there you have it. So now you know how to create a custom funnel report. If you're wanting to make the most out of HubSpot, Neighborhood offers a step-by-step -step course covering marketing, sales, service, and CMS hub in depth, ensuring you and your team are best serving your customers while developing efficient internal processes. We'll include a link for this course in the description below. As well, if you're after a PDF version of this to use later on, or you wanna pass it on to a made in need, we'll also include a link in the description. If you've gained value from this video or you're keen to learn more about HubSpot, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. But for now, happy HubSpotting.